Hi, Agus. It's Grandma Teresa. Would you like to listen to a story? Okay, thanks. Let's read a book. Little Juniper Makes It Big. Do you know what kind of animal that is? He looks like he has a mask on around his eyes with those big dark circles. Little Juniper makes it big. Juniper was little, too little, she thought. Adults only build things in adult sizes, she grumbled, just loud enough for her mama to hear. If kids made houses, we'd make them so they fit properly. Like all clever children, she found unfairness most annoying. What happened to her? She's all wet. Hmm. Patience, Junebug, her mama said. You're growing more every day. But three days later, Juniper was still no bigger. At bedtime, she couldn't concentrate on her book. For my whole entire life, everything's been too big for me, she thought. And later that night, Juniper's little thought grew. So she thought doorknobs and sinks and movie seats and pianos and car seats and counters. They were all too big for her. By breakfast, her little thought had become a big idea. By lunchtime, a cunning plan. Juniper assembled springboards and stilts built heighteners and hoppers, made cranes and catapults, and even flew by balloon. But despite her inventiveness, Juniper's efforts fell short. By Monday, Juniper felt smaller than ever. Things were better at school. At school, she didn't feel little. At school, she was average. Some kids were taller and some smaller. The new girl, Clove, was tiny. Juniper liked hanging out with Clove. She was amazing. Being small didn't bother her at all. Sweet salamanders, how do you do that? asked Juniper. Grippy, sharp nails, a parachute tail, and she lowered her voice. Extra stretchy armpit skin. Do you want to come over for a sleepover? She asked. We could practice climbing. Oh, yes, said Juniper. Some unsmallness lessons were what she needed. She counted the days until the weekend. On Friday, Juniper packed her suction cup shoes, 13 feet of rope, and a helmet. She said goodbye to her mama and headed to Clove's house. But when she arrived, she found she didn't need to climb or stretch for anything. In Clove's home, Juniper was adult size. Her Juniper is as big as Mommy and Daddy Squirrel. <clears throat> this house is perfect, thought Juniper. 
While mostly perfect, hide-and-seek was unexpectedly quick. Swinging was surprisingly slow, and dress-ups were just awkward. By, they t by the time they got ready for bed, Juniper, Juniper didn't feel small at all. Juniper, let's play at your house next time, said Clove. I bet it's huge. Bet I could hide in your sock drawer. Bet your bathtub feels like a pool. Clove actually seemed to enjoy being small. Juniper hadn't ever thought of it that way, but a cramp, a cramp in her tail made it hard to focus on the idea. She's too big for the bed. The next day, she returned to her, to her way too big house our home is nearly perfect, almost perfect, she said. And while some things, and while there were plenty of things Juniper didn't, still didn't love about being little, looks like she fell in the potty, most things were wonderful.